Thank you, uh, Angela, and, and thank you all for being here. This is certainly, uh, I think, a really uh, not just important, but also uh, an exciting moment for the city of Long Beach. Uh, about maybe a year and a half ago or so, um, members of the city council, along with the mayor, began conversations about uh, how we would address uh, the issue of violence, which is obviously uh, an extremely important and sensitive one, beyond just um, policing and beyond just uh, the great work that are, is already being done with our police department and the Parks and Recreation Department as well. And so um, a group of us uh, on the city council, um, uh, myself, council member uh, Neil, council member Andrews, and council member O'Donnell, um, sponsored legislation to begin uh, a violence prevention plan here in the city of Long Beach. And that, that plan was endorsed by the rest of the city council as well as, uh, as the mayor. And, um, and here we are uh, many months later uh, beginning what is really a kickoff to uh, an important subject for all of us to have a conversation about and to, and to learn from. I think that um, there's some interesting things happening right now, obviously, uh, in the city. Uh, and one of which is, as you probably read in the newspaper, um, on, in some respects, uh, violent crime in particular is going in the right direction in the city. Uh, we are experiencing, over the last few years, uh, some of the safest um, from a violent crime perspective, times in recent memory the last, that's really been recorded in the history of the police department the last 20, 30 years on the violent crime uh, side. Uh, but then we're also, we also have other challenges when it comes to property crime, when it comes to smaller crimes. Uh, those are not as steady as we'd like them to be. And more importantly than that, even though some of our violent crime statistics are going in the right direction, that doesn't mean that every community is safe or feels safe. And I think that's something important for us to recognize is that uh, every, every community in Long Beach, every neighborhood in Long Beach deserves to be safe. And regardless of where the crime numbers go up or down uh, or sideways, that doesn't mean that everyone is feeling safe in their home. It doesn't mean that everyone feels safe uh, to walk uh, or to let their kids walk to school or for that let their kids go to the park or even walk from one block to the next because of uh, issues that may be going on with, uh, with, with gangs or other things. So I think our goal is really to make Long Beach the safest large city in California and in the country. I think that's really what we want to do. But, but the only way we get there is going to be with partnerships. And the only way we get there is, um, you know, the city of, this is a city of Long Beach initiative, but the city of Long Beach itself cannot do this alone. This is really a partnership. And so the city needs to, and is in this process, partnering with some of our, uh, our top um, experts in the field of violence prevention. Uh, we're partnering with a lot of nonprofits, and which many of you are a part of. We're partnering with, obviously, the police department. We're gonna be partnering with our different departments in the city, uh, like Parks and Recreation, which I strongly believe that uh, youth and recreation and open space goes a long way in violence prevention. And I think you've seen some of that in programs like Summer Night Lights and activating um, some of our parks. We're going to partner with uh, clergy. We're going to be partnering with uh, you know, communities of faith, giving groups, anyone that wants to be a part of um, really ensuring that our youth have and our fa and families have a safe place to be are all going to be a part um, of this process. So I think it's a very exciting one. I think we should, we should certainly take it with the seriousness that it deserves. But I also think that we should be excited about it. We should think about the opportunity. And this is not a, you know, violence prevention plans are not uh, new ideas. This is, we just haven't had one in the city. Uh, we, we certainly have violence prevention um, initiatives. We certainly try to, try to lower violence in the city by the programs that we have in place. But we don't have a unified plan that we can refer to as our violence prevention plan. The city of San Francisco has one. The city of Los Angeles has one. Other cities across uh, the country do have official plans that they can look to, whether it's um, whether it's going to, uh, looking at funding opportunities or partnerships or giving a, a blueprint for the community to use as a guide. That's really what we're looking at, uh, at building. And what's really exciting, I think, is we're looking at this violence prevention program through a community model, a shared community model. So the idea is that the, the ideas for this plan should be coming from the grassroots, from the ground up, from the neighborhoods, from the neighbors, from the community. 
And I think though we're the ones that are, that are, you know, that are living every day with opportunities and challenges in our communities. And so I think that, um, that with all of your help, we're going to come up with some really, really great things.